presenting the adventures of Jungle Jim. Last week, Jungle Jim and Chung, the Chinese secret agent, mapped out the route they would follow in their efforts to capture the desperate outlaw, Derek Bluger. While back in Shanghai, Lily DeVril received a message from the Purple Triangle chief ordering her to report to headquarters if she were still loyal to him. Some time later, Lynn Chalmers, having decided to see the sights of Shanghai alone, was forced at the point of a gun to enter a big black car and found herself the prisoner of the mysterious Lin Pu. The thrilling adventures of Jungle Jim are pictured each Sunday in the Comic Weekly, the world's greatest pictorial supplement of humor and adventure. The Comic Weekly, each page printed in full colors, is distributed everywhere as an integral part of your Hearst Sunday newspaper. And now we continue our story. The big black car containing Lin Pu and his captive, Lin Chalmers, speeds recklessly out of Shanghai with curtains closely drawn. As soon as they pass the city limits, Lin Pu removes the gag from the mouth of the missionary's daughter. Fair, Mrs. Chalmers. <laughs> Your tongue is free, even if you are not. What does this mean, Lin Pu? Where are you taking me? You see... You'll soon find out. Will I? We'll see about that. Do not be fooled, Missy. Let me out of here. Let me out. Sit back in the seat. You jump out now. You kill yourself. <sighs> Sit back. I help you, Limpo. You watch out for driving, my friend. Never mind back here. I don't understand why you're doing this, Limpo. Quite aware of that, Missy Chalmers. I assure you, whether or not you understand, it has no bearing on your present or future situation. Well, I assure you, Mr. Lin Pu, that my present and future situation will have plenty of bearing on yours. Indeed. When I don't appear for dinner tonight, my father will have the police on our trail. Allow me to assure you, one more policeman on my trail scares me not the least. All policemen, fools. You won't think so when one of them snaps a pair of handcuffs on you. Policeman is not born who will be able to, as you say, snap handcuffs on Lin Pu. We shall see about that. You just wait. Unable to wait. So sorry. You and I have appointment we must keep soon as possible. You turn this car around and take me back to Shanghai. I'm not going anywhere with you. Sorry to make charming young lady liar. You are going somewhere with me at 60 miles per hour. Pan, at this crossroad, my friend. Yes, Minpo. This looks like a deserted road. We're out in the wilderness. Where are you taking me, Lin Poo? You see soon. We almost finished with automobile ride. What's going to happen to me? That depends entirely on you, Mrs. Chalmers. What do you mean? If you make things difficult, I cannot say what will be your ultimate state. I assure you, acquiescence will prove best policy for you to adopt. I, I don't understand. Perhaps not this moment, but you will. Oh, no need looking back, Missy. No one follow us. <laughs> Unlike fiction books and cinema, there is no curly-haired hero who will dash up and rescue me, say. I wasn't looking for any hero. No. There is not even one lone policeman on motor bicycle. You cannot deny you were looking for at least one of the policemen your father is to put on my trail. <laughs> Turn here, my friend, quickly. Yes, Limpo. <laughs> Why, well, there's an airplane in that field. It's waiting for you. Excuse the contradiction, Missy. Airplane waits for us. Ah, here we are. I will not annoy you with gag, Missy. It is unnecessary here. You may scream as loud as you like. I'm not going to scream. Thank you just the same. Uh, you most sensible, Missy. You will please come with me. But I... Ah, uh, permit me assist you out of car... It is uh, most awkward to descend with arms tied at back. Yes. We go to airplane over there. Now, Missy, you will get into airplane. I will assist you. Mm -hmm. uh, put uh, your foot there. And there. Ah, that is right. Now we go to keep appointment. Limpo. What is it, Funky? Am I not going with you? No. Stand back, Funky. So I may close door. I have no further need of your services. A little later,
later, back in Shanghai, the Reverend Chalmers receives a visitor. Hello, Reverend. Lily de Brio. <laughs> I thought you'd be surprised to see me. Yes, I am. What had you to do with Jungle Jim's death? He's not dead. Whatever gave you that idea? Not dead? Why? Why, on board ship, my daughter Lynn overheard a Chinese named Lin Pu say that Jim Bradley was at the bottom of the sea. And since we heard you were flying in here, naturally... Naturally? You thought I had something to do with his death? Yes. Well, when I said goodbye to him at the hotel two days ago, Jim was in the best of health. Where is he now? On his way to nip a budding revolution and capture an outlaw named Derek Bluger. Well, I can't tell you how relieved I am to hear that Jim's alive, and my daughter Lynn will be glad, too. Mm, I bet she will. And now, good afternoon. Don't rush me, Reverend. I came over to have a little talk. There is nothing that you and I have to talk about, Lily DeVille. Oh, come now, Reverend. Don't be like that. I'm sorry. I know you don't exactly love me, but why can't you let bygones be bygones? When a repentance is true and sincere, I'm glad to forgive and to forget. That's what I came to see you about. You mind if I sit down? Take this chair. Thanks. We've known each other quite some time, haven't we, Reverend? Yes. Yes, sir. We've played tug-of-war up and down the glory road for quite a spell. You have steadfastly refused conversion? Yes. I know. I had my reasons. But everything's different now. Is it? Yes. I've come to the conclusion that you're not such a bad scout after all. Mm. You've only done your duty as you've seen it. You set yourself up a code of principles, and you've stuck with them. I have set up nothing. God in his commandments has pointed out the path to be followed. Well, anyway, you followed it. You can't understand this, Reverend, but I've had my code set up for me, too. Mm. I thought my way was as good as yours, if not better. Now I realize how wrong I was. Lily de Brille, is this true? Surprised, aren't you? I am. Well, I don't blame you. There was Jungle Jim when I told him. And you earnestly and sincerely repent? That's what I came over to tell you, Reverend. Well... I'm delighted to hear it. Oh, excuse me. I must on for the door. Yes? Reverend Thomas, I have a message of interest to you. Uh, come in, come in. Mrs. Devril. Hello, Fonky. Oh, so you two know each other, eh? Well, Fonky, what is this message you have for me? She has not told you? No. What is it? Lin Fu has taken your daughter away in airplane. What? Fonky, what are you saying? So, this is the real purpose of your visit, Lily de Vril, to demand ransom money. No, no, I swear you're mistaken. Funky, where has Lin Poo taken my daughter? I do not know, Reverend Thomas. Maybe Mrs. de Vril, no. How should I know? I, I haven't been with Lin Poo. You know where headquarters Purple Triangle are? So, Lily de Vril, you are in league with these cutthroats. I know, I You don't... know I pay anything to have my daughter back safely. Well, how much have you been sent to collect? Listen to me, Reverend. I came here for one reason, to make peace with you. Oh. I didn't know until this minute that Lin Poo had taken your daughter prisoner. You... But you won't believe me. No. You, you'd believe this yellow rat before you would me. <sighs> All right, I'm through with you from now on. I do know where the headquarters of the Purple Triangle are. And I'm starting for there right now. Meanwhile, leaving Kolo to guard the camp, Jim and Chung ride along the great trail as they look for a certain opening in the great wall. You're sure there's an opening along here someplace, Chung? Yes, Jim. Ought to find it. It's called Suling Pass. I've gone through several times myself. Well, I'll have to take your word for it. I can find my way through any jungle you drop me in. But this mountain goat country has got me going around in circles. I should be in same situation if I try and find way through jungle. How very true it is. No man, no all things. I know plenty you think they do. We're very much worried about you, Jim. When heard you left Borlani with notorious Lily de Vril. Well, to tell you the truth, right after we took off in that plane of hers, I began to wonder if I'd hopped from the frying pan into the fire. She is one bad, as you Americans say, customer. She used to be. Used to be. 
Since when has Leopard changed spots? Since Lil left Borowani, she's turned over a new leaf, Chung. Oh, I know she used to be a friend of Derek Bluger. She told me that herself. But she's all through with him and his schemes now. Judging from inability, men breaking away from Derek Bluger, and fact, you hear he, ladies' man, doubt if Missy DeVille find it easy breaking away, even if really wanting to. You don't think Lil's on the level now, do you? Actions speak louder than words. If she's taking no active part in business of Purple Triangle, then we'll admit error of judgment. Bill's okay now. I'm sure of it, Chung. Shall see what shall see. Hey, the consul just handed me some fancy compliments when I asked him why he'd sent for me to come all the way from Burawani. Give me the real lowdown, will you? We heard of your brilliant work there, Jim. And felt you were a man for job. <laughs> now, don't you start crossing bouquets. I want the real reason. What have just said true, Jim. But were other reasons. First, Derek Bluger is American. Mm-hmm. You, American. Mm-hmm. Second, there no chance of him having seen you. Therefore, he not recognize you when you're meeting. Now, that sounds logical enough. And since the only agent of his that I have met, Lo Tung, is dead, none of his crew can identify me. For that, have Shanghai Little to thank. Flying, you hear. Speak of flying, listen. You hear an airplane motor? Yes. There, there is airplane. And there's purple triangle. Quick, Chung. Over among those rocks. I hope whoever it is hasn't seen us yet. In the plane bearing the purple triangle, Lynn Chalmers still questions Lynn Poole concerning her capture. I demand to know, Lynn Poole, why you have captured me. Very well, I tell you, Missy Chalmers. Derek Bluger has discovered Jungle Jim Bradley not dead as reported. You're not dead? Oh, thank goodness. I was sure you were mistaken. Jungle Jim Bradley is on way to place we are going. But what has all this to do with me? You friend of Jungle Jim... Friends know information about friends, which sometimes proves valuable. Well, just because I know Jungle Jim, there's no reason why I have any valuable information. You may know something of Jungle Jim's plans, Missy Chalmers. But I certainly don't. I haven't seen Jim for weeks. Indeed? Yes, indeed. Interesting, if true. You may, as you say, know nothing of Jungle Jim's plans. But again, you may. <laughs> Mr. Derek Bluger has means to make you tell truth. What will happen when Lynn Chalmers arrives at the Purple Triangle headquarters? The adventures you have just heard were dramatized from incidents appearing in full-color action pictures in the Big Comic Weekly, the world's greatest pictorial supplement of humor and adventure distributed with your Hearst Sunday newspaper everywhere. In the Comic Weekly, you will meet every famous character who lives in the world of colored pictures. You will chuckle at the antics of Skippy, laugh at Sentinel Louie, and roar at Jiggs and Maggie in bringing a father. In the feature Heroes of American History, there are many pictures of great men and women in the story of our country. At the same time next week, over this same station, you will hear a continuation of the adventures of Jungle Jim. <laughs> 